Are you wolves using those really excellently in the first game? Yep. And I'm Five wondering if Delacom will they go with the Templar assassin? Because they could just maybe pick her Reserve first time. and you know know that they're super powerful. At the same time, as we've mentioned before, stuff like Gyro in the pool, stuff like Leshrac. Leshrac didn't have a great game last game, but do you want to give a Leshrac the opportunity to have a great Bounty game? So. Yeah, and of course, guys, you're watching the KOD Wait, League. I'm SP Revolution 5, joined here by Llama, uh, Team Gilicom up against Elite Wolves, game number three. And uh, sorry, Llama, it's just my uh, OCD, like, I have to do the intro. Oh, no worries at all. It must happen. Um, yeah, and so now we see the immediate Bounty Hunter pick up. Bounty Hunter did a lot of work for Team Delicom last game. Um, E-Wolves going to take away the Spirit Breaker from Radiant them, but it's pick. still really rough. Gyro I think playing combat. into Bounty Hunter is just really hard, Dying and that they pick, pick up Spirit Breaker Gyro leaves a lot of good stuff in the pool. There's still a... Uh, there's still the Lena, the Storm Spirit, the Quap. So, Delicom has a lot to play with here um and they can they can kind of pick what they want it could even just be the ta here you know they might say we're comfortable picking the ta again this early on um Ten seconds the remaining. other big hero in the pool no i think Five i think we've covered most of the big remaining. heroes in the pool yeah. so they're gonna take probably quite a while just because there are so many options there and Reserve wanting to make time. sure you know if you do happen to pick the lena maybe you're worried about how she'll perform against the spirit breaker um but then she is really great for running with the bounty hunter because she has a lot of burst damage you and the bounty hunter can just hit their mid a few times and then you cause a lot of damage um with the dragon slave and the light strike array which you most likely hit if the bounty hunter does go that orb of venom Black build way. Now, we've Dying got a Clockwork back. instead, which is pretty cute. Um, I, I really like Clockwork. I actually don't against Gyro. I feel like until you get Blade Mail, you just like hookshot in and he's like, oh, I'll press Q and kill you. So I really like the Radiant Clockwork because he deters a lot of the common mid picks. I find my Dying I like Gyro because back. you pick someone like an SF and Gyro will hit level six and he will gank the opponent SS. You know, just kill it. Go back to his lane and farm. Um, someone like an SF, even someone like Alina has a rough time against Clockwork. And it can also take advantage remaining. of weak support. So if Ewolves wanted to pick up a very common Dazzle to go Five with that Spirit Breaker Gyro, remaining. right? Dazzle will keep the Spirit Breaker alive when he's doing crazy things. Same with the Gyro. Shallow Grave can keep him al he's alive long time. enough just for him to get off another Rocket Barrage. Um, Clockwork can pick off that Dazzle, uh, assuming it's pre-Glimmer Cape. So, uh, But instead... We see the Quap and the Tinker. Tinker was banned last game, so I'm guessing that's another kind of surprise pick. The Wind Ranger, so they need to worry Wind now about team. the Huskar again, and also the TA. I would not want to play against that TA again wow. after having come off the back of that. They go for banning <laughs> they go for the, the Huskar. Huskar. I would ban Huskar rather than TA. The, the, part of the big issue was that they, they let the Huskar get enough space that he could create space for TA. If I use space way too many times in that sentence, but... You get the picture. No, it's true, yeah. And I think also, if you're feeling confident, you might feel like you have enough CC and buying wards you're for dealing with a TA. Of course, it gets expensive dealing with a bounty hunter and a Ten TA. Seconds, That's really? another thing which will help shut down the supports for E-Wolves. But Five we'll seconds, see here really? what comes out. And uh, I think, again, Reserve we've already time. mentioned there are a lot of options left. They could just glo go with Leshrac and say make your clockwork have a really rough witch time initiating doctor. on either of those mids but it's the witch doctor not the Dyer dazzle not pick. the lashrac yeah and elite wolves just saw the witch doctor a great work but it's already looking like a scary team fight lineup for them uh gyrocopter and witch doctor alone is very scary and having spirit breaker as that frontliner to keep people off your witch doctor can be a very very a very big deal um just to say no you can't just stun him and get rid of him i'm a little surprised that they picked the Witch Doctor into Clockwork, but also, since that Spirit Breaker's there, Ten it works as that remaining. kind of deterrent to, you cannot initiate. Five yeah. seconds remaining. And definitely, as you mentioned, the team fight's starting to pile up for evil. Of course, a Clockwork can do a lot to disable people in a team fight. He can spread people apart by not using his pog cogs to catch people, but instead using it to push. But it's still pretty worrisome. And yeah, Bounty Hunter is going to be able to get that sneaky vision. But if Spirit Breaker gets a charge through your lineup uh, with the coconuts bouncing around, it can be quite scary. Um, 
Now, they have a lot of options. I wouldn't be surprised if they just picked up the TA. Yes, E-Wolves has some stuff to deal with her now, but given her dominating performance last game and given the help of a bounty hunter, I think, again, TA would do very well against whoever E-Wolves picks up mid. Uh, yeah. TA looks good, but Viper is still in the pool, Lion. and it's something you have to worry about. Elite Wolves, like, they Radiant could go for the TA as well, pick. but you're picking it straight into... Not that much that deals with it, but the possibility of Viper. And you don't really want to have to do that. Yeah, and instead, Team Dilicom picking up a Lion, another all around, lots of disable, lots of stuff to help with um, the Spirit Breaker running in. You can stun him, some stuff to deal with Witch Doctor using his ultimate. Um, but remaining. I don't, I don't know how much I like Lion here. Five While I do agree, remaining. lots of disables. I think you're just going to get mowed down by Gyrocopter. I mean, I guess it comes down to who initiates that, so. Yeah. Um, it, it's going to come down to that initiation, just like you said. And Elite Wolves still having a lot of reserve time to work with. I'm interested to see what it's going to be for... I mean, they're this. trying to figure out probably if they want to show their mid or pick another support. The dangers being that storm if they show their mid, spirit. they might get... Oh, they go for the Storm Spirit. But okay. as I was saying, the danger is being that if you show your mid, you might get counterpicked. But if you don't show it, it might get banned in the next phase because it becomes very obvious that you're going for mid. So instead, the Storm Spirit, and he's pretty nice to play against the Clockwork. But again, you pick the Storm Spirit into a lion. It's a bit, it, it's a bit dangerous there. Um, and I would be a bit worried because you know. Again, it comes down to who Ten gets the initiation. Remaining. If you go on the lion, you'll probably pick him off once Storm Spirit has that heart and orchid. Five but if you decide to go remaining. on someone else, you're gonna have a bad time. Yeah, um, it's Reserve gonna time. be tough for him, especially picking it into the lion with that instant hex. I do feel like he can lane against Ten TA and do remaining. well simply because if he gets in close with the remnant, that's an extra charge of refraction that's gone. Five seconds um, remaining. I don't know that it'll be enough, and it's gonna be the the, the Leo style puck, Radiant the uh, ban. legend from long ago that this still gives me shivers to this day. It, so I it, actually really don't like this pickup though, because now in the current meta, it feels like you have enough room to run two cores. Seconds, yeah, um, and I think banning anti mage would be good here for e wolves Five because that could be a very powerful pickup who blows up their lineup but if they only have the puck the clockwork and one Reserve more carry time. if it isn't the anti mage of course because anti mage is a different story it's got to be something like pl or even a specter Maybe i would much rather fight the pl here as e wolves i, I mean, would it's okay but pl can still burn the mana and do a lot in team fights and he's very hard for them to shut down like, he's the kind of carry that, even if you do shut him down in lane, he can recover just fine. Oh. Yeah. And it is the anti-mage ban out, just Dyer because the Storm Spirit will yeah. be such a bomb that it's really just, it becomes a pain, and he'd be really hard to fight against. I, as we already mentioned, it would be much easier to deal with a Phantom Launcher, I think. Especially since if Storm Spirit Ten gets the better remaining. start and gets the Orchid Forest, you can kill off the Phantom Launcher pretty successfully, Five pretty easily. Um, and Motorboat being Radiant banned out, that's the Phoenix. Um, as we've mentioned in previous calls, there aren't a lot of offlaners currently in the pool, and yep. so banning out the Phoenix really makes sure that the they Spirit don't Break have... The Spirit is going to be in the offlane, for one thing. It well, like, yeah. says you have to put him in offlane now, because... What else are you, you gonna can, run? You can run him as a support. It it does work. Yeah, but, but who are you gonna put it, in the off lane then? No, that's what I mean. It, yeah. it they have to pick someone and Ten the options are, are not the best. There's a Magnus that you can still try to run. Five you can try a Centaur. We saw that last night. Um actually turned up being super effective, Reserve but time. just kind of they had a big strat around it. Yeah. So And they don't have that same kind of capability here. Um you only have the centaur to bail you out. You don't have the, uh, what was it, the coddle? They had a lot of stuff going on. They yeah. also had a on their team. They had a slark, right? Slark, slark. has a way to bail yep. himself out. And he had it the shadow blade as well. Team. So. We're going to so. see, though, Elite Wolves having to make their final pick up here. Are they going to put that Spirit Breaker in the offlane? Or are they going to go with another support? More lockdown against Puck is always good. It is always good. Yeah. And, and there's some lockdown. <laughs> Dire team That's pick. the Doom that had they ran so successfully in the first game. 
I'm actually really excited to see this again because now Team Dilicom has had some time to react to the Doom um, and they should feel a bit more confident. Additionally, Puck is a lot harder to gank in lane than the Storm Spirit was. Puck has an escape level one. You generally, it depends on your skill build, but most people skill orb level one. And Ten it's very remaining. much the Storm Spirit didn't. And so Doom can't Five just kind of pick up a centaur remaining. and go ganking Puck unless He's very, very smart against it, and it'll be harder Phantom against the Bounty Hunter. And it's the Phantom Lancer. We'd already discussed how he was probably going to come up because there were no natural counters. But again, Phantom Lancer does have that doppel, but if Doom is quick with his fingers or the or Storm Spirit gets an Orchid, we're going to be seeing a deaded, uh, a deaded uh, Phantom Lancer. Yeah, quite he will true. be deaded indeed. Sorry, Sorry Lama, um, I'm not trying to make fun of you there. Just, no, I just, my yeah. mind blanked. I was like, I know the hero. Anyway, moving right along. A dead Which uh, you want to jump into? Yeah. Anyways, we'll have Plop here on the, the gyro, buying up a Wraith Band, but then, you know what, change it. Okay, he bought the Wraith Band, sold the Wraith Band, bought another Wraith Band. Apparently the first one was defective. Uh, we'll have FTD on the Witch Doctor here. This guy is throwing me off all night. Karateka on... The Storm Spirit will have Xandrils here on the Spirit Breaker, and last but not least, it's going to be Annie up here on the Doom. Yeah, and as we already mentioned, Annie played a really get, great Doom loss game, and so we'll see if she can replicate. Oh, well, the first Annie game. Can replicate oh, the, the success, yeah. Uh, now we've got Jericho on that lion. We've got Leo Style on the puck. We've battle. got Clockwork being played by El Duque. Phantom Lanza being played by. I forgot who it was again. Ben Hass. The blank name? Ben Hass. It's okay. It this frustrates me more than anything. And There's Nightmare. a Brazilian pl player that does it, and it's just dot, dot, dot. Hmm. Um, and Nightmare on that Bounty Hunter. Again, Orb of Venom, very standard build. We might see a little bit of a tangle for the bottom rune, but Bounty Hunter just deciding he doesn't want to risk it. He's backing out. Lion showing up begins. and leaving. Um, and yeah. a lot, I personally feel a lot of this matchup comes down to how well this mid lane goes. Of course, if Puck can get that early blink dagger, there's going to be a lot of chaos and chaos that both the Clockwork and the Phantom Lancer will take advantage of. But if Storm balls out of control, uh, it's almost a moot point as to what yeah. the other heroes do. So. I mean, Storm has the option of going for that Orchid first, which against Puck instantly gives you this you can't do anything uh, ability. You get the blink on Puck, but. Storm naturally has his mobility, as we've talked about. And we're, I'm going to try to keep a close eye on this mid lane, so Llama, if you can please let me know if anything else is happening. His Nightmare will come up, but there is this sentry here, so Karateka, he may be getting zoned out, but he'll dish out some damage and say, just, just back off, buddy. Go back home. No, no. Yeah, and Doom having the hard start, Annie having a hard start that she, uh, they did last time, just Doom not having much in the way of either armor or a way to stay in lane. Yes, you can devour jungle creeps and get some experience and so on, but you're not going to have those great levels of Scorched Earth, and you're going to go through a lot of your regen, you know, the Spirit Lance coming out. Um, and the Bounty Hunter actually now up top as well, there's Earth Spike coming out. Doom should be able to walk this off, but with that little bit of armor and the Venom Orb, they might just dive the Doom, they decide not to. But yeah. Doom getting down to 80 health before being forced back. And Storm is actually going to be forced to ferry out a salve as Leostown was able to dish out a lot of damage with the range of this illusory orb. Also the fact that he can harass Storm and then quickly disappear with phase shift, removing creep aggro, uh, if I'm not completely mistaken. So. Yeah, and both mids actually picking up salves, both of them did, because of yeah. the harass that they can dish out. They're both walking towards those bottles and trying to make sure that they uh, get... Yeah, just making sure they get that advantage mid. It's very even so far. Um, the Puck... Ow, I lied. It's not very even. The Puck dominating here. Yeah. Seven denies. Didn't see those at first. So Puck having a much better time. And, and now um, Bounty's going to come up. They won't grab the sentry! Just barely. They've got mirrored sentries. Okay, they will grab that one, but it did take two sentries for them to yeah. uh, find it, and that's a big issue, but it will open up the slain for the bounty hunter a lot more to uh, be active in, although he did make some impact up top. Puck will be, I believe, getting his bottle right now. What about the storm? He's sitting 70 gold away, so about one or two lasses, but he has to be very careful of that bounty hunter who's rotating up right now. Leosal will get one right click, but there's just not any mana left on Kar Karateka. That's Leosal. He'll take some harass, but he will be able to back off and use that bottle. He's still got the salve. I mean, you talked about how they both got salves. Only one's been used. 
Yeah, Puck getting his bottle up early enough that he didn't oh. really feel like he needed to and use it. that's a haste rune. Yeah, this could lead to a kill. Um, it you could also just with be... It, you have to keep in you mind, can... Shift will disjoint at least one tower shot. If you time it better, you can disjoint two. Uh, but it depends Denied. how close you are to the tower. I've played a lot of Puck. Uh, not recently, but back in the day. Uh, don't mean to brag. Bounty but... Hunter going for oh. this courier, and they actually rerouted, knowing that something Radiant's could be up. Also, I think the Storm Spirit attack. wants to bottle crow here immediately. Um, and that's... Oh, and you see Doom rotating in as well, as he has actually gone into the jungle a little afraid of what they're doing here, but he's going to be able to protect the courier. So and... he'll escort it back to base, and Annie in a little bit of trouble, but we'll be okay in the end. And... Sending Doom back to base at the expense of just Doom isn't that bad. Yeah, um, Clockwork also bought him. He's trying to leech experience from the pool, uh, killing the creeps. This is what you kind of do as a Clockwork. You can contest the pool, but you also don't want to die, so you just kind of chill out there. Um, and pretty funny, he gets harassed a bit over the range. And really weird, Dilicom still doesn't have an upgraded crow. This is not common in professional dodo you generally upgrade the crow as soon as you can they probably Especially... are saving for boots for the bounty though and um they had to buy those demons nice movement in by the puck he did phase shift and let those creeps uh take up the static remnants which probably would have pretty much killed him and they're going to be going for this bottle crow again so bounty he's going to end this up and since they have this very aggressive observer they're going to see this but 30 seconds on the boost yeah, they're just going to wait for... Oh, no. They're going to fly it actually almost oh. directly over the yep, bounty, and it gets slowed. That's a dead bottle for three burn. minutes. And uh... Actually, really surprising that they ran it over that side. I would expect the bounty to come from that side, since we just knew he was lost top. But I think they were just getting a bit... Uh, trying to trying to find out the way to do it, so... Yeah. Now, Doom, level two only... This is really rough, as we've already mentioned, not a great way to stay in this lane. Has actually picked up the uh, the clapping creep. Oh, and he's getting stunned up. He's going to take a spirit lance. He's also a frog. Got no armor. He might just go down. He, he pops up that scorch, oh, hoping to regen. But then there's the doppelganger to make sure to catch him. And the spirit lance is going to be up, and that's death. That's first blood coming out on Doom. So not having the impact that he wanted like last game. And Storm Spirit also needs to go all the way home just because of how much harass the puck can put out on him without a bottle. And he is going to finish his uh, magic wand at least, but this is... He has to go for the magic wand and the TP instead of boots at the moment, which is going to really hurt him. Puck is going to have his boots and 600 in the bank and... I think he has to get treads Radiant's here, top just because under Elite Wolves have a lot of damage on their team, and the treads are going to help you a ton if you can, but so won't be TPing back right now. He actually regened quite quickly. Uh, there. You generally go treads on Puck, I think. I uh, unless think you can get the blink really fast, you get the treads. Attack. But Leosel is the kind of player that, I mean, he can save up a thousand gold, and then go for one big play, and if he's going to die, he'll buy the treads, but if he gets that big play, he'll just buy the blink right out. Illusion. Yeah, definitely, and I think, in general, if you can, sometimes you can get these big plays, you can get the gold for an item that you don't think you're going to get, um, yep. very early, and so you can just buy up that blink. Now, Leo Style, having... A really good time mid, as we've already mentioned, dominating that lane. This is really bad for the Storm. If he doesn't ball, it's not going to be so good. Doom, again, taking a lot of harassment up top. He's managed to get level 4, but it's it's but not he enough. He level 7. That's the, yeah. the difference here. They've got a much better lane against the Doom, because last game, if you remember, Doom was able to just kind of walk all the way up here. He'd just walk into their jungle, eat a creep, and then walk back to lane. Uh... This game, he cannot do that, because every time he comes up, PL's like, okay, here's a Spirit Lance. What are you going to do? You're going to walk away because that's all you can do. Yeah. It's Puck will go for trash, by the way. So. Definitely a harder lane, and also with the Bounty Hunter harass. I think, actually, Bounty Hunter's expecting Doom to walk home. He's waiting for his Tranquils, actually. But he's yeah. got the Lion coming in as well, and I think Doom's going to be in a lot of trouble. If the PL doesn't hey, just Doom's solo dead. take him down. Oh. Yeah. Top tower. He's Bounty got that clap, but he hasn't really used it. All he's really got is this uh, attack speed aura, which 
doesn't help him. I'd rather see, like, Cup Dude picked up here, but no, Meanwhile Nightmare is going to get charged. They do have a dust, and they will be able to hopefully find a kill here as Storm is going to zip forward. Long range uses a lot of mana. Hook shot off the mark. Nightmare still in the run, and the coil from Leo style. He'll get two with it. Zendros is going to go down. Nice play by Karateka. He will be able to zip away, and he's got his boots, and his bottle is also waiting for him on that courier, keep in mind. But they do lose the top tower, and they lose... I think, I think they're going to lose Storm. They, they can may just, they yep. have the stuns, and they have the auto attacks. He has no mana. Doom coming in, hoping to do something, but what can he do? Now, he in comes the Witch Doctor, hoping to pick off the clock, but not enough. That's not a very high level... Uh, oh, here comes this charge. This might he's be back. enough to pick off the clock. Yeah, he's yeah they have the auto attacks. Or if the they lion, catch, you mean. But, so. yeah. Oh, the lion, yes. The clock works far away, but clock, clock it's all good. I tried to call Huskar Storm Spirit last game, so... It happens. Now, this is really... It's not... What's the right way to say it? Ewolves is falling behind, and they need some way to flash farm up yeah. their Storm Spirit. But unfortunately, they haven't really uh, stacked up their jungle at all. There's nothing around for him to get. There's a couple stacks, like the easy camp is stacked, but that's it. So <laughs> The easy camp. Now, yeah, keep in mind... So um. Wait, that's not a stack, or is it? That, I'm that's not sure. It's six, it might not be a stack. It could it's be. It's six, but it, it's not the right composition for the stack. Uh, also, Gyro will want Anyways. to be taking these stacks if they get stacked, so that's another issue there. And while Gyro has a good start, he'll have the Sanj soon, most likely going that Sanj and Yasha, which is pretty cool on him. Oh, goodness, then the puck blows up the Storm Spirit middle. Just nice stun. Storm Spirit went too deep. Oh, and this poor courier. Uh, luckily, my uh, Shagmar plush is hiding behind the monitor and cannot see the blood of his brothers attack. being spilled. But that's the second courier bounty he's been able to take down this game. Boom yeah. 7, level snipes right here. And if you look at the map, you'll see that Ewolves has no Radiant's vision. That's why these things are happening. Attack. Generally, yeah. when you play against a bounty hunter, it's rough because he turns invisible. But you've got a way to make sure you see him on the map. Um, and having no wards Radiant's means that he can just kind of use that shadow walk wherever he wants. Storm actually trying to zip in on the Puck, but missing. Ooh. And just deciding not to go in. Yeah, and Puck, oh my goodness. Puck actually has Blink in 3 gold. Yeah. That is it's huge right early now. Week, and it's going to be really hard now. This Gyro, he doesn't have a lot of damage early game when he's silenced. So and this is going to be really Spirit powerful. Too, Storm Spirit has nothing. Like, I was talking about how, okay, Storm can go for the Orchid, and Orchid against Puck is very strong because, of course, he can't phase shift. And that's... Denied! That ability makes Puck Puck, okay? If, um... Storm gets the Orchid, he can just silence Puck. Puck can't do anything. Puck gets the Blink, he's fine. Puck picks yes. up Witch Doctor, Ooh. and now the Storm Spirit's in a bit of trouble. He's got Bounty Hunter and Puck, but they've Bounty got a on the Bounty Hunter. No mana! No dust! No... Yeah. And no mana, but no dust as well, and Puck's coming around, he realizes this, and they're just gonna go for it. There's not even boots on this Spirit Breaker, and the aggressive Urn Shard is gonna do nothing. Jericho gets a Hex on Karateka, and a Coil and a Silence are gonna come out from Puck. The Hookshot, is... too, just a catch him Hookshot, so mm. I think... We're, we're clearly seeing that uh, Delacom is quite far in the lead, and even the Gyro is trailing way far behind just because he's not getting any kills, he's only getting creeps. But I think they either need to start five manning, they really need to get wards out. I know they lost the courier and that makes it hard, but you've got to figure out a way to get an injection of farm back into your Gyro and back into your Storm Spirit. Their Storm Spirit's doing almost nothing this game. Now, they're trying to charge up Bounty Hunter. They do have dust on them, and they're gonna drop the call down. They should get the Bounty Hunter here, but in comes the Puck. Let's see what he can do. Actually, not enough mana. Does jaunt forwards, but it's gonna take a lot of damage from Rocket Barrage, and now it really needs to be careful. Nice job on blocking out the Blink possibility, and Storm Spirit zapping in, gonna pick up that Bounty. That's 700 gold for the Storm Spirit. Even though Phantom Lancer does pick off the Spirit Breaker, this is a huge kill for Storm. In fact, he's up to 900 gold. He'll be able to finish his treads off this at least, uh... I'd like to see him work on an Orchid, but since he's gotten these two Null Talismans, he probably is going to go for Treads first. Uh, and I, I think that's a good option as well. Part of the problem, though, again, the Courier's still dead. Radiance bottom tower is yeah, under that's attack. causing a lot of the grief this game, right? That was why they had bad ward vision. That was why people were having such issues. Your items get stagnated because you but have I mean, to go all the way back to base. You have to look at the advantage of Dial Comp. They're sitting at a 6k gold advantage easily. PL is on travels and a 
Jerome, and an Aquila, 12 minutes in. Doom yeah. is on a hand of Midas. Radiance Surprisingly enough, under I don't know where Annie got Dyer's this farm because last time I looked at him attack. or her or him, I don't really know. Doom, uh, dude. Well, I, I mean the player though. Oh. Uh, yeah. Sorry, I. I'm very no, I didn't inconsistent with that. Last time you looked at Doom. Last time I looked at Doom. Radiance bottom. Uh, he didn't have anything, attack. and all of a sudden Radiance there's a minus. So that's good, but. Okay. Where are they getting this farm? Radiance Cheats are turned off. Because I was trying to make an example of e wolves have no farm. Well, now suddenly they have a few items trickling in. It's just the storm who's falling behind, and he will sell one of those null talismans for the soul ring. So. Even though they have, you know, a Midas on the Doom, it's not enough, right? If this game yeah. goes super late, I do actually think e wolves will have the advantage. Oh. Um, Nightmare's gonna find Witch Doctor. Yeah, and Witch Doctor, what's he gonna do? He's got nothing to defend against this. He's just gonna take damage. Oh, the couriers might even be in trouble again. Nice! Uh, Lumps in um, as well. You don't want to be here, boys. They literally use the coil to finish off Spirit Breaker because they know now that since Elite Holds just lost the team fight that big, they will not try to fight us for the next minute. So we might as well use the coil now. Yeah, and they didn't Doom, get a thing off that as well. That's yeah. It's it, not it was good. an ambitious charge and really just led to more deaths, which is really unfortunate. Now, I think they need to dial it back. You have to know you're behind at this point, right? You can look at the kill score. You can feel it in the fact that your courier has been picked off three times. You need to dial it back and just play really safely. Um, yes, you're not going to get as much farm as if you were playing more aggressively, but you kind of have to take one for the team. And actually, yeah. they're going to be right on top of the lion and the bounty hunter. And they do have a Sanji Nasha flying out to Gyro. If they know that lion and bounty are here, they're waiting for that, but... I don't think they do know, because even if they are waiting no. for that, they shouldn't be right on top of them. Without yeah, all It's Actually, Witch Doctor is going to be the target. They pinged him out. Nightmare is going to go in with the hit. The Shuriken. The TPM from PL. He'll try to get the casks bouncing, but it'll do nothing there. And that's another track kill going over to Dialcom. Just to put it in perspective, the fight recap is going to show that 600 gold is gained off that one kill. And they are ahead by 10 kills. Yeah, and this is the power Radiant's of track. It means that you can play more attack. aggressively, which suits a lot of these teams' playstyle, and you just don't have to worry too much. You make a mistake, it works out okay because you Dyer's have track gold. Tower is under attack. Now we're going to yeah. see PL Radiant's start to siege this tower, and I want to talk a little attack. bit about him going bot. Generally, actually, an item which I understand why you go it, and it, oh, they're also taking top tower, and this Dyer's might lead to engagement. So I I'm think just going gonna... to for it because he's ahead. Of course, he but he's not being punished for it, which is really important to notice. Actually, they've got the blinks out, and they're going to kill off this dude. Dom needs to realize he just needs to bail out. Don't get silenced yeah. as well. So. The big thing oh. is that they at least get this tower into deny range, and that means that uh, Dialcom will lose that map control either when they deny it or when the creeps inevitably push it down. So. Yes, it's something. It's not great, but yeah. as we're talking about, he went it because he was ahead. And sometimes you see PLs do this. They stubbornly build the boots of travel. Oh, which doctor might go down again? He's getting to not know. He's fine. Oh, he actually oh. the ultimate there, hoping to catch someone out, but he doesn't get to. But as mm. we were saying, you you try to punish the PL for going such weak items. I've seen it on PLs before who are behind, and they can just never get ahead because they haven't built up the stats for it. But this PL has so much space. He doesn't care. He's not getting punished by anyone. That's a full defusal picked up. 16 minutes, bots defusal, Brahms, Aquila. This is insane. His goal per minute is 590 at 16 minutes. Like, that's pretty good. That's really good for the early game because generally your goal per minute increases as the game goes on simply because you're actually able to kill things. You've got more items and you're farming faster. Having this, what's considered at least a decent pub goal per minute early in the game is insane. Insane. Yeah, it's a lot of farm, and of course, a lot of it being because of the bounty hunter tracks now. And it's also like liquid net worth right now because he's not being killed off. Yeah, like it's it's all net worth. None of it's being spent on TPs anymore now that he's got the boots of travel. All of his items are the items he needs. It's not like, well, I have to keep you up to the lane. I'm gonna buy a TP. Team needs a smoke. We'll buy a smoke. And it's his farm is not slowed down at all this entire game, and it's just getting scarier. He even has four points in stats. Like, this is a level two doppelganger, and he can't be punished for it right now because they just don't have the means to do so. Yeah, 
And I think to do this though, E Wolves, they can still oh, do their shot some... though. Witch Doctor is dead. Yeah. yeah, he tries to get out, but of course not gonna TP out against this. But maybe the clockwork gonna pay a heavy price for this, and he's gonna go down. Really nice pick off for the gyrocopter. More people TPing in, but they have to be careful. The immediate silence with the gyrocopter. Doom does blow up, but Gyro is still wanting to go, has to wait out that dream coil. Yeah, he has to, and he'll get trapped as well, so they'll know if he moves forward. Spirit Breaker wanted to charge forward, but the Spirit Breaker has no mana. He has, well, nothing at this point, as uh, he's sitting on boots and urn and a dust, and level 5. It's 18 minutes in, and one of your supports is not level 6. Meanwhile, Storm Spirit getting picked off up top. I think we all know how that one kind of went. PL said, hi, I have 8 billion illusions, and you're dead. Also with the defusal, meaning that he can't jump yeah. as far away as he's used to. In fact, Storm um, is so scared of this defusal, he's going to go for an overclub into BKB right away. Radiance it's very sensible against Delacom's lineup as well, though. Yeah. With the silence coming out, right? Storm not really being a hero that builds a Manta to get rid of that uh, and purge off that silence. I think you need it against the Puck. You can't play into being silenced, So, uh, which this Storm has been. But I think... What they need to do, E-Wolves, they need to calm down. They, oh, they're actually maybe going to get a kill on this Bounty Hunter. They managed to track him up. They do doom him. Um, and Oh, but in comes the Clockwork. He's going to die too, though, I think. Yes, he's got that Blade Mail, but he's taking a lot of damage. And Gyro's smartly waiting until the uh, Blade Mail's down. They're going to get cogged in. Oh, Mike the Phantom Lancer. He's he coming gets in. He lance off on Gyro. Yeah, yeah there if was he can get another Lance, brought. he might be able to kill Gyro. But instead, he goes to fall. So two really good pickoffs. For but meanwhile, on the bot lane, down come do find that tier 2 excuse me, tower, uh, and, yeah. Yeah, I think they need to play exactly how they did just then. You put up defensive wards, and you make sure you know where the enemy team is, and then you basically hold people in reserve. You know, you have your storm sitting way back. You have your doom a bit way back, and you just make sure that you can have them jump in and save your teammates. Doom has opted to go the mech build, which... Last game, he felt like, or oh, first game, he felt like he was super in control and he was able to go a build uh, with the blink, a build with being more mobile around. He also ended up going the Shivas, I think, immediately after that. But this game, just feeling the pressure. Yeah. And I actually feel like he needs an Ags because against Phantom Lancer, you do want that break. You need the break as well. So, may see that Bounty Hunter is going to be farming up now as he's going to be. Only about 1,300 away from the Guardian Greaves. Puck is picking up what appears to be a completed sheep stick into gold. Yep. Yeah, and that Evil's gets is going to try to really smoke scary. up here and pick someone off. But this is the danger. It's really, it's actually really hard to smoke without vision. A lot of people use it as this desperation play, they but they don't see anyone. They don't know that Puck the sheep stick. They don't know that Lion has just picked up a blink. Not only that, the main- oh no! Oh gonna, no! An and they're gonna find the real PL, but they need to back out now. They've made a huge- And Puck's in this! He's coming for it. They will get the charge away, but the Hex! It comes through onto Sandrils, and he's gonna drop before he can get away. And he's getting hookshot up. The cards to come out as well. I mean- Doom does use the mech, but on the side, they're still going in. Switched up to try to channel his ulti, but he gets fingered before he can do anything. Um, and that's a nice call. Oh, and the coil! Coming out. Beautiful Dream Coil. Actually, the Gyro immediately breaks it, and this is where he would need the BKB. He's just gonna go it. down. Oh, it's not enough mana! It was almost enough to get him over that cliff, but since Miguel still yeah. had vision, he was able to get that Phantom Rush and just ride the, uh, the movement speed all the way in. So... Yeah. Bad game? No. Yeah, it hasn't gone well, but I wouldn't say bad game. I think it's unfortunately one-sided. But yes. if they can hold out, Evil just needs to focus on that. They don't have dust right now. Yep. And um, with Jocter, Gyro, uh, Sorcerer, even Doom, these are heroes who are great at holding high ground. And the only one of these heroes on Diocom who is good at A nice at nether strike it. coming out on the Bounty Hunter, but again, yep. he's just going to turn Invis, and they don't have Vision, and Clock might actually hook someone here. He decides not to. Does he oh, have... it's on full down. Okay, Does he, he doesn't have an axe yet. That's good. Clock, no. The Clock isn't nearly as formed as a lot of other people in this game, and he's going the four star first. When you say he was looking for the hook, I'm like, oh god, how is it on cool off cooldown? What is going on? I mean, it was very, it was used a while ago. Yeah. Oh, and Puck hexing up the storm, storm's dead. And you know how I mentioned a few minutes ago he's going for the BKB? He's still sitting on an overclock. Yeah. And that's it. 
Not having another item is really hurting this team. Mm -hmm. Again, they're being too aggressive. You're so far behind. You really do, as sad as it sounds. You need to play that in your base game and just desperately hope that you can hold. Yeah, but they're... Slowly but surely, this game... Well, not even slowly. Sh uh, this game quickly going in favor of Delicom, right? We're 22 minutes attack. in with almost a 20,000 gold and experience lead. So experience only around 15k, but it's still a lot. Um, and they're going to try to initiate here, but people, the Hex coming out immediately on the Witch Doctor, so no old then. Pull down whiffing, pretty much. Um, and we're just going to see a lot of them dying again. Doom trying to do any work. He can't even get the Doom off because he loses all his mana first. Now Gyro is desperately trying to clear up things, but how is he going to fight 4v1? He's not finding anything. He'll get Lion. He'll get Bounty. Maybe. No. No. He can catch the Bounty. And only a buyback on the Gyro. He's going for Bounty. Not the buyback. Right. Where's the no, zip? I think it was just a, I need to save the racks, and they don't want to use the buyback on the Gyro. Yeah. They don't have any outer towers left, though. Oh, and Puck just blinks in for funsies. Maybe just a little mistake there. Oh, just doing it to show off, I guess. It's it's a, hey, look what I can do kind of play. You think you're going to kill me? Nice try. Yeah. The Hex on Puck has done more than, well, most of anyone ever could. Yeah, it's a very big item. You know, it's a very powerful item, but of course it does cost that over 5k gold. And it's not something to be, yeah, it's not something to be used, uh, try lightly picked up, right, with how expensive it is. But yeah, Puck going that item, it's not often a second item. Often we'll see Puck go something like Yules to ensure the blink out, but they're so far ahead, you're seeing them pick it up. And they're going to get an uncontested Roche for Delicom. And this is just what they want to siege high ground. They probably could without it, but they just want to be safe. Yeah, it's... Uh... I'm not seeing a great way that E-Wolves can defend against this. While they do have the wave clear coming out of the gyro with the cooldown and the flat cannon, it's not fantastic. And if Doom can't get a Doom on someone, which has been very unsuccessful with recently, other than that, other than the gyro, they don't have a lot of, and the remnants, I guess, they don't have a lot of wave clear coming out. And this yeah. is really rough for them in trying to defend this game. I mean, the mech is nice and all, but it doesn't give you any offensive benefit other than the fact that if you had it early enough, you could start pressuring these towers, and things are not looking great. Dyer's top tower is under yeah. attack. Now, instead, they're trying to do the take a tier Dyer's 1 tower while a base is being pushed. It's still good to get that gold injection, but they're probably going to lose They're this actually... They're the all TP TPing home. Okay, yeah. No, they Sorry, I got confused for a second. I thought Diocom had somehow all five gotten due to travel. It's actually... Which stocks are so low already? Like, he has to go back to the fountain and hasn't even done anything in the fight. So he actually died in the back line to the Phantom Ponza Illusions. Oh my. So, I mean, it's not unexpected. He has sub... I think he is either sub a thousand or just around a thousand. So, Something health? like that. It's it's not much health at all. And Storm, he takes so much from the uh, Illusions that he doesn't have any man at all. Left. Yeah, I mean, that's... Spirit Breaker, what are you doing?! He's, He's not just charging trying to alone. See if he can set attack. up a charge. I don't think he wants to complete it. The but problem they have is to that no one can follow up. The storm and will zip in. Zip in but There's one hex. Lion. BKB from Gyro, but he'll fall. And that is no buyback available from Gyro. PL now beyond Godlike will take down the Doom. And I hate to say it, but Elite Wolves, they may be headed to our third place smash along with Isris. Stalcom looks to be running over them at the late game here. In fact, Ben has his in the fountain. In the fountain because he's got that Aegis. This dire base now. Basically. He just, Storm just bought a, okay. GG branches. I think this is the, the plan now. They're gonna call GG by uh, spelling it out with branches. Okay. Yeah, Meanwhile, Lance Style is just seeing how long he can survive in the fountain. That's the GG, and unfortunately not as exciting as uh, really either the first two games. But yeah. either way, I believe we'll be going into an interview with the winners. We style, should be. Uh, yeah, so yeah, um, that'll be up in a moment. For, I'm just going to um, take a quick break, and then I will be right back. Yeah, no problem. I will uh, keep things going here as we wait for Armando. Of course, that was Llama Down Under. You can find her on Twitch and Twitter as Llama Down Under. Uh, her stream is quite entertaining. I have uh, checked it out last Sunday. 
And of course, uh, fantastic casting from her. Of course, I'm SB Revolution 5, the uh, terrible caster for tonight, but if you for some reason want to follow me, it's SB Revolution 5 on Twitch and Twitter. Also, SB Revolution 5 Dota on Facebook. Don't forget to check out KOD League on Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, and everywhere. Also, True Sight TV, my personal casting studio on a Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, everywhere. Uh, our sponsors, uh, Dota 2 Best Solo didn't cover the match tonight, but they're still going to be covering the other two matches, so don't forget to check out uh, their website for the opportunity to place your bets. We've got donations here on the bottom of the channel. You can also check out the Dota store, El Barto, from, uh, which is providing stuff for Peru. We've got Castle, uh, John's Castle, which is an illustration service. Uh, you can check him out below. And also AnalyzeDota.com, an upcoming uh, Dota 2 stats website. Thank you guys for watching. We will be right back with an interview. So don't go anywhere. Don't touch that dial. It'll be just a moment.